Terry Wogan leaves his senior moments at the door for perfect recall in 45 minutes, right after we start a new week of deals. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. They're very excitable. I think it's because at the end of last week, at last, people started to win money. So, new week, and we're hoping this is going to be a big, big money week. Yes, guys? Yes! yes! And one of them's going to come out here and hopefully win a huge amount of money. Here they come. Yes, bring me your ambitions, and we'll see what we can do about them. Ray! Yeah. 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 Come on, Ray! Come on, you first up. Take the walk of wealth. not positioning a box. That's fly tipping. Put it there. <laughs> right. Come on, Raymond. Sit down. Thank you, Noel. Hello, Ray Agate. Hello, Noel. From Bedfordshire, a retired cartoonist. Yep. Tell me about all that, then. <laughs> oh, I drew from an early age, I suppose. Always with a pencil. On my father's knee, he was the man. He was the man at the moment for me. And um, I just kept drawing ever since. And, uh, yeah, I suppose it's been great. So you've had your work published regularly in newspapers? Yes, tried my best and uh, got a few published. I really thought I was on my way, but it's a tough business. Mm. The idea is funnier than the uh, drawing. Mm. That is the important thing, mm. the idea, the joke. I've got to ask you, what's this? Oh, yes. Um. <laughs> I'm glad you're smiling, no? I'm trying to think. I look like John Inman. <laughs> <laughs> look at that bum. <laughs> I'm free. You have to emphasise things, you see. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, and there's one here. Oh, look. Look, look, look. The banker, everyone. <laughs> that is wonderful, isn't it? I couldn't resist that. Right. It's only my idea. Maybe that I'm is so clever. That may, is... Maybe I'm way out. Perhaps the banker doesn't look anything like that. I do hope it doesn't upset him. <laughs> well, there appears, to, there appears to be hair here, uh, which he certainly doesn't have. You've drawn him positively anorexic. I, I, I think there's more to him than there, but I love the notion of the bookie as well. So, half banker, half bookie. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I do, do hope uh, we don't fall out and make bad friends. I, I don't, I'd be... Is that a gift for him? Oh, it is. I'd like it very much to be a gift for you both. Yes. Well, that's kind. Shall we send it to him and then oh, see uh, what his uh, reaction is? Uh, Greg! You, oh, might, you might want to pass it through the door and then hot foot it back. <laughs> <laughs> And that, I would, that I will greatly treasure. That is My pleasure. That is so kind. You're very Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Um, well, I feel as if we've learnt quite a bit about you. Although, seeing your lovely wife Pam there, I would True. like to, before we get into the game, because I don't want it to be a distraction, I'd just like to know the truth about your dressing up parties. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, you hold them regularly in the quiet little village and yeah. I've got a feeling I read about one in a Sunday newspaper. <laughs> 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 not at our village hall, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you hold parties at the village hall 
And, yes, and they're always parties. they're themed. Yes. So, so what sort of themes yes. have you had? Oh, the forties. Ray was dressed up as an American officer, and all the ladies fell for him. You see, <laughs> schoolgirl and schoolboy. <laughs> well, yeah. So I wasn't far wider than Mark, was I? Really? <laughs> <laughs> See where this is going. Wh which village is this? In case any oh. uh, <laughs> any viewers are particularly interested. It's a beautiful village just outside Bedford. And uh, the new developments are closing in on it fast. And we don't expect to be a village for much longer. But while uh, we have it as such, we enjoy ourselves. Fabulous. Yes, so, yes, uh, happy to crack on with your game? Oh, yes, please. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box number three at random before the game began. True. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Ray! Pam! Have an absolutely fabulous game. Hey, Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, I don't... Well, I really would like to start my game with num box number 22. Ah, <gasps> the death yes. box is first in. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right, Nicola. Ray, you'd be my partner in crime, and I'm really going to miss you. You and Pam are such lovely people. I really hope this is a good one. Thank you. Well, oh, it's lived mm. up to its mm. name. 50,000. Mm. One of Sorry, the power Ray. five first out. <gasps> Never mind. Never mind. Oh, Box number six, Nick. Really would like box number six. Ray, all the best. You're a smashing fell. <laughs> My next number... Number nine. Oh, the poem! Yes. Third <laughs> box, opening round. We've not had the poem in the opening yes. round. Oh, away you go, Lisa. Number nine. OK. I'd like to introduce to you the one and only Ray, who's now become quite famous for his thick full head of grey. So I think I speak for everyone, and so I'll tell you why. It's been an honour and a privilege you couldn't meet a nicer guy. <laughs> and uh, now, uh, happy cheerful contents, please. Let's hope so. Good luck, Ray. Judy, you knew. Yes. <laughs> Box five, Judy. Thank you. Ray, you're a lovely guy and you definitely don't look as old as you are. So, <laughs> and you're proper young at heart, so I hope it's a blow for you. Very reassuring, that, isn't it? <laughs> Hurry up. He is quite old. We want him still alive at the end of it. <laughs> thousand, that'll do. Uh, newbie, I think, is the, uh, for my fifth number. I think I've got it right. Oh. Yes, yes, four holes means um, there's another one. And we're going to Chelsea. Chelsea it is. Box number four, please. Welcome to the game, Chelsea. Thanks. All the best, mate. Thank you, Chelsea. 15,000. Gets a groan. <laughs> Moderate start. A successful start, I would say, a moderate start. Me. Which is encouraging. A middling start. Hello, banker. Uh, this very, very bad line. I, I, you're on the mobile. You're in a very bad reception area. You've gone on a sudden trip where? Oh, you're just outside Bedford. <laughs> And you're looking for the village hall. <laughs> uh, right, hang on, I'll ask. Um, directions from Bedford to the village hall. <laughs> Is it easy to find? Up the hill. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, up the hill, but not over it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Ah, I will do. He's saying thank him so much for the caricature. Ooh, it, absolutely I haven't superb. displeased him. Ah, you might do your own caricature of Ray on your way back from Bedford. <laughs> if you happen to run over an old badger. <laughs> Rude. I'm only the messenger, remember? Thank you. He very nearly offered you 2,000. Grecian 2,000. <laughs> but it's 6,000 pounds. Your opening Ooh. offer is six grand, right? I'm ready for the question. Right. 6,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. No, no deal. Thank you. I wonder whether I should stay here this time. Oh, right, OK. I see. A slightly different... Right. And um, next number from the chair. Dear Nev, my good friend. Box number eight, please. Best of British Ray. Thank you, Nev. He's captain of the army. Mm. 20 grand. Good chap. Well, yeah, well mm. worth the ground. Mm. It's going to be interesting to see whether the tactic okay. of sitting down has changed anything for the moment. Yes. It's changed it for the worse. Right. Next number is box 17, my dear friend Chris. Great man, right? Oh. Ooh. Oh. 75,000. Where are the blues? Where are the blues? Come on, right. Come on. Yes. <laughs> box 13, Mina. 13. Why 13? Well, considered to be unlucky by some, but not by me. And why have you left the chair? Uh, to change away from those reds a little. Yes, I think it was a very good idea. Get mobile, get blue. And why should they come back to you? Well, I think it's going to be an interesting contest. And I, I feel that um, the next round could be pretty crucial. And there might well even be a knockout from either the banker or myself. <laughs> Come back. Please. <laughs> Welcome back to Rave's Game. What a character. What a great guy. Fantastic. Fascinating man. Uh, cartoonist, newspaper columnist, and also retained firefighter. Although he only does kittens up trees. <laughs> That's true. Well, I mean, with that hair, you couldn't run into a burning house, could you? <laughs> <laughs> <So> <laughs> OK, Mina, could you please not be Mina? And we would like a little blue. Well, Ray, you are not uh, not only Ray of sunshine, you are full of sunshine, and you are such a comical character. Whoa. And uh, I will miss your humour. Oh. Oh, <laughs> anyway, so lovely. It's just like you've lovely died. Is <laughs> <laughs> it? it's just... I do. It's so funny. It's, it's, you must it's see. Ray's memorial game. It's, <laughs> it's one compliment after another. Well, I'll miss his humour. <laughs> Best of luck, Ray. <laughs> I mean. Oh, no, what a rotten round. Mm. 10,000. Yeah. Nine yeah. blues to aim at, and you've done that. OK. Yeah. Oh, well, all right. We've it's another Ray, it's another three now, isn't it? Ray, 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 phone call. Yes, yeah, true. Call, That's true. It's always, it's it's always time. time to take a phone call from a friend. Of course. Oh, yes. My friend, the banker. Hello again. Ah, uh, he's making this phone call in memory of Ray. <laughs> oh, that's not reasonable. 
No, it's not reasonable. That's not fair. Um, <laughs> but I was trying my best. You were at 6,000 and uh, he's cut you in half. It's, it's 3,000 pounds in an urn. <laughs> Ray, three grand. Yeah. Well, you did take yeah, the 75,000. I, I did. But box number three has a value of 3,000 pounds. Right. I'm going to change things around. Are you? Yep. Good man. That's what we want. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we want. Ask me the question, please. Three thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker. No deal. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> My good friend Jazz. Hi, Mr. Blue. It's been really nice getting to know you, Ray. Top guy. You can do it. Yes! <laughs> and uh, for my next box, 19. Michelle, please. Ray, you are an incredibly inspirational young man. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so another much. Another glowing obituary. Isn't it? Yes. It's got to be a blue one. Yeah! Thank you, Cal. That's the one, darling. Thank you. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted, and now you need another one. Keep getting drawn to certain people. I know what you mean. <laughs> right, mustn't forget you. <laughs> Box 18, Bill. All the best, then, right? All the best. It's uh, feeling a bit better. Yes. yes. Six five. And you've still got the two biggest sums of money. Hello. Better round. Yes, much improved round. And the one P. Right, we're doing better. Add your first two together, and we're there. Nine thousand pounds. Mm, very good. Good enough to go. Okay, now I'm ready for the question. Nine thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? <sighs> it's a lovely sum of money. And when you're out here, it's um, tempting. But no deal. Thank you. I can go, can I? You can. You can go. Go. Okay. Far away. Well, box 12, my dear old friend Lee there. Lee, give us the first step. Towards a really strong position. Oh, it's a blow, Ray. Really do. Come Thank on. You. Come on. Yes. Yeah. 750. Now, um, I've got a rather a feeling for box 15. My friend Paul. Paul, we're suddenly being drawn to you. You know what we want to retain. Thank you. The very best of luck, right? Thank you, Paul. I hope it's tempo. Oh. Ah! Do you want a bit of time to think about this one? Yeah, perhaps I do. Yeah? Mm. We'll have a bit more refreshment, a pep talk because although that was a horrible hit, look, 
At eight box to have the quarter of a million still in play is excellent news. Two of the power five at eight box, that's good news. Yeah, he can do very, very well, particularly with your help. Do come back. I'm glad you're back. He's off already. You nearly miss us, but he's, su One he's suddenly got a second wind here. We're nearly at eight box, and uh, we took the 100,000, so we want the blue, please, Ray. Box number 11. I'd like Aaron. Aaron! All the best, Ray. Thank you, Aaron. I hope Aaron. it's a blue. How are you feeling about it now? Feeling good? Yep, sure am. I think he has reason to start to worry about you, Ray. Hello. Oh, thank you for echoing my goodness. Thanks, Aaron. I'll ask him. Banker says, please don't turn up in your pyjamas tomorrow. <laughs> You and Chelsea look like you're out of play school for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is an interesting board, isn't it? Yeah. OK, go on. He's going to get a big groan, this one. He's focusing totally on the quarter of a million and the fact that he believes it's going to go in the next round. And so he asks you the question, Ray. How easy would it be if you lose the quarter of a million to get another offer of seven and a half thousand pounds? Big disappointment there. Big disappointment. Still haven't hit five figures and you've still got the quarter of a million. That board is a bit of a minefield. But um, I think... Um, I could take three out and still be there with a chance. OK, Noel, ask me the question. Seven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Pretty good offer. But in this case, uh, no deal. Thank you. <laughs> right then. About a minefield. Well, you've got to miss those two. I'm confident. Box two, Liz is going to help me out here. Hope so. Six to A, Matt. Liz, give us one of those six, please. Ray, you're an absolute star. Don't worry. Yeah. 35,000's yeah. yeah. gone. Yeah. In terms of the mega money, already all or peanuts. I think this time, box 14, Sheila, please. Okay. And it's my choice. Sure. Oh, I hope it's a good choice. Okay, I hope this is what you want. Yeah! What we need. <laughs> Big oh, yeah. All right, on this one. I'm going to open it now. It's all on this. It's all on this. We can get to the next offer. With a quarter mil undiscovered, I think you might have a tricky decision to make. But it does need you now to hit a blue. Yes. Box 21. Melanie, it's all on this box. Good Ray. We're all with you. My choice, Melanie. It's 
five boxes and quarter mil could be in box three and the bank has got to consider that very, very carefully. Wow, well, so few left. Yeah. Hello? So, right for me to raid, please. Oh, oh dear. No, don't let him, don't let him psych you. Hello, Mr. Banker. Hello, to you, sir. <laughs> oh, you could come on your own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tell him to stick to the game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a very strange conversation. Very much the gentleman. So pleased to have spoken to him. And, uh... Could I give directions for the village hall? <laughs> and, um, and he's not messing about. He's making me a wonderful offer. I think uh, he's making a very generous offer. Fifteen thousand pounds. <laughs> he's obviously lost. I don't know what direction she gave him, but... Uh... <laughs> Are you at that T-junction down in the village green? Because you do a left by the post box. <laughs> what did you want to add, Banker? I wish I didn't have to tell you this. But if you play on and don't discover where the quarter of a million is, your next offer will be £75,000. Well, three boxes out of the four at the top of the board and you will have five times the current offer. Really got to um, talk to Pam, finally. Would you like Pam to come down? That would be nice. Yes. Pam, would you kindly join us, please? <laughs> Ray, meet Pam, Pam, meet Ray. <laughs> Take a seat. It's strange out here. <laughs> <laughs> That is a difficult one. It is, isn't it? If you go on and you don't touch the quarter of a million, you will have an offer of 75,000. We've seen it slip away so often. I'm thinking of the family and what we could do with it. And as our Mediterranean cruise. <laughs> Sitting back there, yes. I was quite certain I'll we'll take it. But, you know, this 75, it's put a spanner in the works, hasn't it, really? I really don't know. I'm just thinking how awful it would be to go home with 50 pence or 10 pounds. Yeah. 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 15,000 pounds is real money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is real money, but the other is just a dream. Which would we, we regret most? What's in that box? <laughs> I think I'm ready for the question. It's your decision. OK. Mm. But whatever, I'll back okay. you up. You will. Right. Fifteen thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Well, all I've got to say is wonderful occasion to be here and it's a deal. <laughs> Yeah.
I think well, we've you made it very clear that the money will be wonderful for the family. Yes. Now, we need you to choose three boxes. But as always, Ray, you will make us all very, very happy if you kill the game instantly. Okay. I would have gone. I've been looking at him for a long while. Pete over there, the big, big money Pete. Right, Pete, quarter of a million pounds, and he's done a brilliant deal. Oh. No. No. Who clapped? Never mind. No. <laughs> Find it now, Ray. Yeah. Mark, I've left for a long time. Box 20. 20. Quarter of a million pounds, please, Mark. It's been a privilege to meet you, Ray. I really hope this is the big one. No. No. Second component of the perfect Never round. Never mind. Never if mind. this is three thousand pounds, you produce the perfect round at the wrong time. Ray, if this is five thousand pounds, you're producing exactly the same scenario that Laura had on January the seventh, two thousand and seven, and her next offer was forty-five thousand pounds. But you have already been told. If you do not discover the quarter of a million, your next offer will be £75,000. Box 16, Martin. Martin, it's all on this. If this is not the quarter of a million, he has actually thrown away the chance to have £75,000. We want a cheer, not a groan, Martin. Show us a quarter of a million pounds, please. Fingers crossed. No! Oh! Incredibly, exactly the same configuration that Laura had. But the banker always said he knew he had made a massive mistake when he offered 45,000 to Laura. That is why, undoubtedly why, he would have offered you at this point 75,000 pounds. Hello? He is a man of his word. He is confirming that your offer, just a few moments after you accepted £15,000, would have been a mighty £75,000. Never mind. No, never mind. That's very <laughs> philosophical to be able to say, never mind. Now, when you get to this point, Ray, you always are offered the swap. I always, uh, in my mind, would be no swap. You would always have said no swap. So at this point, we are firmly hoping that box number three has £3,000 in it. In that case, you will have actually done quite a good deal, but you should have gone on. More importantly, were you just an ounce of extra courage away? being our first male quarter millionaire. Were you? Oh! Oh, it's my Three times in the box. Three times in the box. Wow. It was my fault. No, no, of course not. Of course not. No, 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 no. We did what we. Um, yeah. It's been wonderful, and yes, what a wonderful thing we've um, we could have had. Uh, however, uh, that was our choice. Yeah. And uh, we always <laughs> believe in what we do. Thank you, Noel. Claire. Complete the game with the 3,000, please. I'm really sorry, Ray. 3,000 over there. Mm, okay. First of all, don't blame yourself. I heard you no. say twice it was your fault. No. Mm. It wasn't. No. It was a joint decision. Yes. Mm. And um, I think the biggest disappointment is actually the 75,000 because that was just within a few moments. You grasping mm. But it. we've seen it slip away so often. And then I have to come back and say, mm. I have seen it go the other way. Mm. And the, the game. Uh, the, yeah, the game. It is. The most telling thing you said was you didn't want to go away with one of those blues. Exactly. So, you know, remember that moment. Yes. Yes.
Thank you, Noel. Ray, it's been a real pleasure to meet you. Good luck with the next party, and do let me know if you get any dirt on the banker. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be up there bribing him like mad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fifteen thousand pounds. There it is. That is exactly what Deal or No Deal is all about. Pam said, in all honesty, I've seen it go wrong, so we didn't go on. But if you don't go on, and you've got the quarter of a million, you miss it. The great deal or no deal dilemma. The dilemma that will bring you back again tomorrow, I know it. I look forward to seeing you. Bye-bye. Next on call, it's Wogan's Perfect Recall.